Yet here we still are, while all the gardens of the Entwives are wasted. Men call them the Brownlands now. I remember it, long ago, in a time of war between Sauron and the men of the sea. Desire came over me to see Fimbereth again. Very fair she was, still in my eyes, yet I had last seen her, though little like the Ent Maiden of old. For the Ent Wives were bent and browned by their labour, their hair patched by the sun, to the hue of ripe corn, and yet their cheeks like red apples, yet their eyes were still the eyes of our own people. We crossed over the Anduin and came to their lands, but we found a desert, it was all burned and uprooted, for war had passed over it, but the ant wives were not there. Welcome to Tales of Arda, where we discuss and explore Middle Earth. Today, we did. This video will explore the mystery surrounding the Entwives, the female Ents. The Entwives were created by Yavanna, the Valar, Valar of Nature. Unlike male Ents, the Entwives preferred to tend smaller crops and didn't like living in the vast and tall forests. So some time in the first or second age, they left the great forest of Fangorn and came across the Anduin to the land that would be one day known as the Brownlands. After Morgoth's defeat at the hands of the host of the Valar, the Entwives would teach agriculture to men living in that region. But as the second age went on, Sauron once again gathered an army in Mordor and sought to crush his enemies. But Elendil, High King of Arnor and Gondor, and Gilgalad, High King of the Noldor, gathered many forces in Riverdale and Eregg Eriador, and they advanced towards Mordor. And here the Entwives met their ends, as Sauron burnt their gardens and killed or enslaved any survivors. He did this in an attempt to hinder the advancement of the last alliance of men and elves. Yet this did little, but the blow had been dealt, and many believe that they were wiped from the surface of Middle-earth. But yet hope still remains as they could have fled to the lands of Rune, and there maybe could have flourished again. But I believe this to be unlikely, as even the professor himself states in a letter. I think that in fact the Entwives have disappeared for good, being destroyed with their gardens in the War of the Last Alliance. But do you think the Entwives survive? Please let us know in the comments below. And so that is the short story of the Entwives and their grim fate. But their memory would live on in the Ents of Fangorn, especially Shrewbid, who would ever remember his wife. Passing her memory down to Merry and Pippin, the two hobbits of the Shire that encountered him in the Two Towers. In their book he sings a song about the Entwives and the Ents recalling how they once were together and are separated. We hope you enjoyed this short video on the different appearance of the Entwives. Please like and subscribe.